lazy wall new command why do you need it well let me show you first if we use the multi-line command which is the closest that we can get to a wall in AutoCAD, we can see automatically some of its limitations. First, it, it will come on a random scale. In this case, this wall will come in about one inch. And we know that walls are usually five inches up. So that's one of the limitations. Second, if we try to do a opening, let's say for a door or something like that, and we trim this, we can also see another limitation that comes with this opening and it doesn't close the wall automatically. So also I would like my new wall to have an offset like this. So it represents better a new wall in architecture, of course, or in a floor plan. So luckily for us, this is one of the reasons why I created the lazy wall new command. So we can simply click on it and then we will have our new wall nice and ready for us. So the beauty of this is that again, it comes now on a correct scale in this case, I want my new walls to come about five inches. So, and also it will come already with the offset of about one inch. Not only that, but when I create an opening, let's say for my door and trim it, we can see that it automatically closed the wall like so, which is great. So are you ready to create this awesome new command we're gonna create this awesome tool in three simple steps so the first step is to create a multi-line style that will look similar to this uh, style or wall so in order to do that um, I'm gonna open a brand new drawing to start fresh. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go here on the ACAD icon and click new. Once I do that, I'm gonna pick my template. So in this case, I'm gonna pick the Imperial architecture because I'm in the United States and the units are Imperial. And this is Imperial Mechanical mechanical architecture and sorry metric architecture and metric uh, mechanical all right so i'm gonna pick the imperial architecture to create a brand new drawing in this case i don't need this title block so i'm gonna get rid of it and then go back here on model space so here we're gonna create our brand new uh, multi-line style so in order to do that, what we need to do is type ML style, right? To uh, open the multi-line uh, style dialog box like this. So right now we can see that we only have this standard that is made by AutoCAD. So we're gonna create a new by clicking here and simply renaming our style in this case, I'm gonna call it, of course, lazy wall new, like so, and then click continue. So at this point, what I like to do is um, first click on the star and end line to make sure that's checked. So that way, when we create an opening to add a door, for instance, it will close automatically in both sides, all right? We can see a preview over here. And then next, what we need to do is, this is fine at 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. This will give us uh, right now a thickness of one inch for this wall. 
uh, that's okay for here because we're gonna customize the thickness or scale of our wall when we create our macro code. All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is add uh, a new line to my wall by clicking this add and I'm gonna do it one more time like so. All right, so I added two lines. First, I'm gonna select the first one and change the offset to 0 0.3. And then once I do that, you're gonna see that this line is gonna move. So I'm gonna select this other one, as you can see. And then this second line, I'm gonna offset it minus 0 0.3. So once I do that, please see the preview here. You can see that I have a nice offset of about one inch, which I like to show it graphically like that on my floor plans, all right? So once I do that, um, the next thing that I like to do is change the color of the interior lines of my wall because I like to have them lighter. So to print lighter, of course. So the way I'm gonna do it is select this line first, which is this right here. And I'm gonna change the color over here. So I'm gonna click select color. And then the color that I want is color eight. This would be um, based on your personal preference, again, based on your plot styles and so on. But you can leave it like that also if you want. So again, I'm gonna do the same procedure for the other line. Um, so color, color eight, and you can see like that. The other lines, uh, we're gonna give it like that by layer because I want uh, my new wall to be controlled based on my layer properties, so that's fine. So that's all we're gonna do here. Uh, you can add also a description. So you can say new wall or, you know, it's all up to you but we can click simply OK at this time. And finally, we're gonna set current this lazy wall new, like so, all right? So once we do that, simply click OK. And at this point, the next time that we draw a multi-line using the shortcut ML, we can see that we're gonna have a wall like this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is draw my multi-line again, uh, and I'm gonna draw it like so, uh, just to have it there. And then I'm gonna put it on a layer that I uh, want my new wall to be. In this case, I'm gonna open my layer palette, right? Using its shortcut, LA. And then what I want to do is here create a brand new layer for my wall. So I'm going to click this icon and say wall new. And then I like to change the color of this layer to red because that's based on my preference, on my plot styles. But you can pick the color and name that you wish. So after I do that, I'm going to select my wall and place it on this layer right wall new like so so at this point um, i'm gonna save this drawing or this file using the control s shortcut and then i'm gonna go here and find a folder or create a folder so um, i'm gonna call it lazy architecto and multi-line styles but, but again, you can, you know, name your folders and files as you wish. Again, let's remember this because this is important, the way you name your folder and your files in order to edit our macro code. So again, L-A-M-L styles. So that's the folder. And then I'm going to open that folder and also the file name. I'm going to call it the same so I don't create any confusion. So LA ML style. All right. So I'm going to create that. And of course, um, if you plan to create in more than one style, you can add something like new, right? Because this is a new wall. So again, LA ML style new. 
so i'm gonna click save at this time all right that's all we needed to do we can close this now but before i close this i want to open the windows explorer folder so the way we're going to do it is right clicking in here and then pick open file location. So once we do that, we're going to see that a Windows Explorer folder opens. And this is important because I want to copy and paste this part. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to right click and select copy. So that's very important. And then make sure LAML style new. You remember that name. So I'm gonna move this. All right. So at this at this um, time, what we need to do is, of course, we can uh, close this because we don't need it anymore, right? We already saved it. So now that we have this uh, style, we need to create our macro code for the lazy wall command, right? So let's go now with step number two. The step number two is we're gonna create a new command. And in order to do that, we're gonna use the CUI um, option. So once we do that, we're gonna see this customized user interface. And what I'm gonna do here is, um, create a brand new command right here with this star icon, simply click on it. And we're gonna rename our new command. I like to call it lazy wall and new. So once we do that, we can pick a icon over here. The icon that I like is this double line. So I'm simply selecting that and click apply. So once we do that, uh, we can see that our lazy wall is right here. Um, so all we need to do now is simply left click on our mouse and holding it, we're going to drag it all the way up here like so. All right. So that's the lazy wall new. Of course, I'm creating it two times because I did it previously, but I'm doing it again just for you to show you how I did it. So finally, for this step number two, we're gonna go here under the macro option and simply click these three dots like so. And we're gonna start implementing a macro code to finish our lazy wall new command. So I already have it here on my second screen. So I'm gonna simply uh, paste it over here using the um, copy and paste option so i'm gonna paste it like so and of course if you are a member of um, our channel if you support our channel you can simply copy and paste this code also and modify it per your needs so here what we need to do is of course change a couple of things first is this option where it says your multi-line style folder path here so I'm going to select that part, right? So I'm going to go here and select it like so. And what I like to do next is simply paste. Make sure you don't select the semicolon or the dash here. So make sure you do that. And I'm going to paste. So once I do that, um, the next step is to change the direction of my slash. So you can see that this slash is going to the front, but not this other one. So I'm gonna simply erase that slash and change it with this other one. So again, go here, erase, change it, keep moving, erase, change it, and you keep moving. This is very important because if not, your command won't work. So again, change the slashes for these other ones so finally we have this option where it says your multi-line file name here remember that is this l-a-m-l style new 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply select that and copy that so it match perfectly. All right. So now I'm gonna simply select this part. So your multi line file name here. So make sure you don't select the slash and you don't select the uh, point or period over here. So once you have that selected again, right click and paste. So that's the name of your file. And that's it. Because over here, let's do a brief description of this code. So first we are trying to insert our multi-line uh, uh, using the path. And then of course the name of our multi-line is this LA multi-line. Uh, multi and then we are creating a new layer, in this case called wall new. So you can change that um, the layer name if you want. And then we are activating the multi-line command with the scale that we need. In this case, my scale is five inches because that's the regular wall size, but you can change it if you wish. And then some of the other properties as the justification and so on. So that's it for the code. So at this point, I can click OK and simply click apply because we already added it to the quick properties before. I mean, to the quick access panel before. Remember? All right. So I think it's time to test your new command. So let's click OK at this time. And in order to test it, uh, let's open a brand new drawing. So let's go and open a brand new drawing. And we can see, go to model space. And you can see that if we use the multi line command, you know that it comes on a, a multi line style that we don't use. Uh, but if we now use our brand new lazy wall new command and simply click on it you can see that our wall or our new wall will come nicely and ready for us isn't that great so again at this point you can simply use the regular shortcut for the multi-line and your wall new will work perfectly all right so that's the lazy wall new command and I hope it can save you so much time because it does for me every day when I draw my floor plans in AutoCAD. And as always, this live stream comes thanks to my supporters, people who believe in my work and thanks to those people, you can click the video on your screen to even save more time. So uh, I will see you over there.